What is going on today, YouTube people? Uh, I'm back. It's your boy, Everything Diesel. We're here today, a new episode. Uh, we're going to be working on Old Cummings Girls. Nothing crazy. No, no uh, 25 minute installation. Nice, sweet, and short. Uh, we're going to be doing a fill filter today. The reason why is because I haven't done one since I purchased the truck. So, I'm past due. Um, it has been a minute since I put up video this week. Uh, I've been extremely busy between school, work, and just being, being you know, alive. <laughs> so, it's past due. Uh, super easy job. I'm going to set the camera up, get it mounted. You guys can watch what I'm doing. I'll put it on a little mini time lapse. Uh, I'm going to swap out the filter. And then from there, I got a police, I got a radar detector. Um, I'm going to put in and see... I'm gonna see if that works good. I used to have one of my one of my old vehicles, and it was it wasn't that bad. So we're gonna find out, all right. So you guys sit tight, and I'll get you guys set up. Hey, I'm sorry, you guys. So real quick, so people, no, this is if you already know, then you already know. But if you don't know, I'll help you out. So this for if you got a six seven Cummins, your fuel filter is that right there. Okay, that is your fuel filter. That is where it's located. There's gonna be a connector on the bottom of it. All you gotta do is unplug that and unscrew the filter. Super simple job. Uh, I'm gonna do it all from in here. That's the drain plug right there. And then over there is the plug I was telling you about for the filter. Uh, all you gotta do is just, yeah, pretty much. That guy right there. Just uh, unplug that. Can't focus. Unplug that, unscrew it, swap the filter out, put it back in, alright? So. <laughs> all right so we came back now so this is uh the old filter still in there this is the new filter and that is the new o-ring okay make sure you change out your o-ring when you're changing out your filter uh this one is shot it's been on there for a minute so yeah it's time for her to go um also i did not know this don't use an oil filter wrench. Um, it probably won't do nothing bad, but I did. You're not supposed to. Half inch drive square socket. Put it in. Get an extension. Put it in there. Twist. Ratchet it off. Uh, make sure you disconnect your water fuel sensor because if not, you're probably gonna end up ripping it out. Uh, this one is a drain cock, the pep cock, whatever. Apparently, you're not supposed to completely remove that either. I did that. Oh well. Um, it, I'm reading all of this in, in the instructions here, so you know. It shows here using the socket, not the filter wrench, because apparently that can damage the housing. It shows here using pliers instead of a screwdriver to pry the filter out. It shows, uh, you know, putting oil on the O-ring, and it shows you using the ratchet to tighten up the, to tighten it back up. So, yeah, this is it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this swapped off, and I'm probably gonna put this back in, and that's it. Another thing I wanted to show, new filter, old filter. Now, obviously when your filter goes into fuel, it's going to soak and get wet and turn darker. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Don't mess with that. So I went ahead and put, I was talking to my dog. I went ahead and put uh, the new filter back in and with the new O-ring. We're going to go ahead and uh, cycle the key a few times just to kind of prime it. We're going to check for leaks. Start her up. And we should be good, really. Uh, super simple job. This is not, by no means, if you can turn, if you can open a can of soup, you can change a fuel filter on this truck. All right. And we're going to crank her up. Wait. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, don't be afraid when you go to start your truck and freaking, you know, you're like, oh my God, it's not starting. No, you're fine. You just got to prime it a few times. All right. You know what I mean? But now, she cranks up. If you hear a little putting, all, that, all that's from is just whatever little air is in the system uh, is leaving. But these are self-bleeding. These six, seven uh, common rails are self-bleeding uh, trucks. So you really don't have to do jack squat with them. All right? So, look down in there. Got it. Alright, check from this side. That looks good. Now I'm gonna look from the side over here. Yeah. Nothing dripping. Nothing dripping from the bottom, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wrong way. Nothing dripping from the bottom. So we look good, fellas. Alright All right, guys, so yeah, that's really it. Um, fuel filter is an extremely easy job. It shouldn't take that long. Um, it, they could have put it in a better spot, I didn't know that much. You know, once again, like it wasn't that bad of a job, so we went ahead and changed that out. Uh, the radar, I was looking at that, that is really simple. It's as easy as just plugging it up into wiring it into your battery system and ignition. Um, I'm going to do that probably off camera because I just feel like that's kind of boring for you guys to be watching something like that. Uh, and then next video I will have that up and talk about it for like maybe a minute. Uh, but nonetheless, yes, thank you for watching so much. Hey, uh, real quick, for everybody who's been watching these videos, for everybody who's been liking the videos, commenting, subscribing, just everything. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, I, it, it was hard, you know, it was really hard, and you guys are, are awesome, and I appreciate it so much because, you know, the cause and trying to get the channel to take off and stuff, it's not easy, it's not easy, and you got to stay consistent, uh, you guys give me good feedback too, uh, Instagram people, if you want Instagram, whether you watch these videos or you don't watch them, I really appreciate you too, because the videos, the, the connections I've made in the last month, not even a month, because the channel hasn't even been up for a month, but the last connections I've made since I made the Instagram, I think I started this channel January 31st to now. It's it's ridiculous, like so much. Um, let me turn my hat back. That way you guys can see my eyes. Uh, it's wild, you know what I'm saying? And I appreciate it so much. Uh, you guys are badass. Um, the love is real. You know, I got from connections to injectors to uh, anything when it comes to rims and whatnot, apparel, you know, custom grills. All that stuff, like I'm just, it's just filling up my, my DM box, and I don't know if it's because you know the type of channel I got, and they see I have a project built, so they want my business. But I mean, when you offering somebody half off just to shop them out of their product, I feel like that's more than just them. And it's in a repute, a reputable company too. Not, it's not no, not no, it's not no little mom and pop place. Even though those are some of the best places to go to, but still, nonetheless, so. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up because you know that always helps. And if you like the channel and you like me, my truck, and what I'm trying to do in the cause, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's only going to get better this time. Um, what else we got? Lift pump. Oh, injectors. So we have a set of uh, aftermarket. or not aftermarket. Bosch. <laughs> We have a set, an uh, extra set of injectors for the Cummins. Um, yes, so we have an extra set, and what's going to happen is, is that I have a person who's going to rebuild them. <clears throat> They're going to rebuild them sixty over, either sixty over or thirty percent over. Um, if I do sixty over, that's going to be about one twenty horsepower injectors. If I do thirty over, that's going to be about I think ninety or sixty. Is it? I don't remember. But yeah, they're going to be build, building them up. All right, you guys. I'm sorry. So I'm back. So the name of the company is HV Injection. H is in Hotel, V is in Victor. All right, that's the phone. That's his phone number. If you want to reach him and his email, um, don't worry about the note up top. That's for me. But yeah, so that's uh, the email and his phone number. If you want to reach out to him, he does full legit builds. Okay. His name is H HV Injection. That's his company, and his name is Jeremy. Yeah, so hit up Jeremy. Uh, let him know Cameron sent you. If you tell him Cameron, if you tell him Cameron sent you, 
He'll hook you up. Well, he's going to hook you up price wise, but he's also going to give you top notch service. Uh, service. This guy does like legit like bills. Like he does. He doesn't do the little. He doesn't do the little half. The little half ass. Uh, you know, swap the tip out, put a copper o ring, or give you a copper o ring in a gasket. No, no, no. He breaks it down. He uses high quality uh, Bosch parts, original. You remember, you don't want to cheap out with your injectors. He doesn't cheap out with them. So I highly recommend him if you're trying to get, if you're trying to get, I keep hearing my dog. <laughs> if you're trying to get the hookup, but you also want good quality parts, hit him up. He'll take care of you. Let him know Cameron sent you. Hey, from the YouTube, hook you up with a, a little special discount. All right, because I'm working, I'm working with him. You know, he helps me, I help him. So, nonetheless, thank you very much. Um, but that's it, though, man, this video out because I don't want to be blabbing forever. So, once again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I really appreciate it. If you like the channel, subscribe. Uh, hit the comment button, comment. Drop comments, be engaged. Uh, it's fine. Also, if you're watching this video and you're not already, check out the Instagram. I'm going to drop it here or here somewhere. All right. Hit up the Instagram. Same thing. Everything, everything underscore diesel and there's a lot of things on there that I post and you know sneak peeks and questions and you know parts and just it's just a bunch of stuff you want to follow it if you're on the channel uh, the link to the Instagram is also on the home page of the channel so I mean that's really it though but nonetheless you guys take care be safe God bless peace I am little. <laughs>